Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 12th pre-election Zoom campaign of candidates for the National Assembly of Western Armenia, on the question of the Armenians of Western Armenia, the sons of Western Armenia, Vladimir Balayan, Arman Tatoyan, the deaf community and the roads of Armenia are under the Azerbaijani armed target. Relics of tombstone with Armenian writing were found during the restoration works in Tbilisi. The collection of works of Reverend Komitas was registered in UNESCO's International Register of Memory of the World. Let's support the television of Western Armenia. On May 24, 2023, at 8 o'clock French time and at 10 o'clock Yerevan time, the 12th pre-election Zoom campaign of candidates for the National Assembly of Western Armenia will take place in Armenia. The topic of the meeting is the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Join the Zoom meeting and the following link. Akna, Karvajar, Kashatau districts of Artsakh fell into the hands of Baku authorities. There are 500 to 700 valuable monuments in these regions. This will be in the hands of the people who have destroyed all traces of the Armenian cultural presence in Nakhijevan. The Convention for the Protection of Cultural Values in the event of armed conflict provides for the international protection of cultural values. About 5,000 monuments are listed on the territory of Artsakh. Most of them have photos. This activity was organized both by Artsakh Minister of Culture and by the Armenian Architecture Research Foundation, headed by the intellectual Samuel Karapetian. Now the question is how will these monuments actually be preserved? Currently there is no mechanism to ensure the security of the monuments because the signed statement does not mention them or any legal action attached to it, and there is no contract to indicate the mechanism, obligations and right to protect the monuments. The contract and it is a very uncertain situation. How will people be evicted in the end? Who will compensate this people who will the cultural values that are immovable properties say there are and no will be their fate especially when we have the nakhijevan example the only thing that can hypothetically stop the enemy rather than cultural barbarism is the international convention they join. There is currently no guarantee of the protection of our cultural heritage. Only the case of Western Armenia against Azerbaijan in the European Court of Human Rights also takes into account the protection of the Armenian heritage. Don't be lazy in the hour of trial, call Vladimir, he will help you. That's how Leonid Asgaldian spoke about the legendary commander of the first Artsakh war, the hero of Artsakh, Vladimir Balayan. Vladimir Balayan was born in 1968, February 14, in the village of Mohratakh of Martagir district of Artsakh in a family of intellectuals. He served in the Soviet army, studied at the Stepanakert agricultural machinery, worked as a printer, agronomist, and when the Artsakh movement began, was in the Martagert forestry, participated in a peaceful rallies, but soon realized that the problem will not solve peacefully. Vladimir Balayan was one of the first to begin assembling a partisan volunteer detachment. At first, there were six or seven of them. Brothers Arthur and Robert were among them. They founded a military training base in the forest. Vladimir sold a car, and with the money they received, they bought weapons and began to create weapons of which the cannon created by Vladimir is known. But this was not enough. It was necessary to train fighters. In 1991, Balayan met with Leonidas Galdian in Shahumyan in the winter, and the struggle became united. The Liberation Army created by them had no analogs both in terms of discipline and in terms of combat efficiency and literacy. Not once was inexperienced soldier thrown into battle. Even in the narrowest moment, he was obliged to go through the school of commanders to participate in training, even in the hottest races of battle. Rest was excluded. The calculation was not to die, but to fight, to win, to live. And during the entire period of fighting, Liberation Army suffered only four losses, five to six. Victims were commanders Balayan and Asgaldian, who never left the battlefield and were always in advanced positions, protecting and liberating numerous settlements, believing that the Liberation Army is not what is happening in the West. The full article is available on our website. 
Facebook post by Arman Tatoyan, former ombudsman, director of the Center for Law and Justice of Tatoyan Foundation. The results of our last work to establish the facts in the Aravus Gornizor villages of the community of Sunik region, Azerbaijani criminal incursions into the sovereign territory of the Republic of Armenia, Armenian settlements and roads are under armed target of Baku authorities. The M12 interstate highway is blocked. During the visit, we fixed on the spot that the illegal presence of Azerbaijan armed forces made normal, safe life of people impossible. People cannot use their pastures and croplands legally. Even houses of civilians, land plots, a school and a kindergarten are being targeted by Azerbaijan. The anti-Armenian and hostile policy of the Baku authorities, the patronage and impunity of their armed servants' crimes against our people, confirmed by evidence, continues. Officers of the armed forces of the Republic of Armenia and border guards troops directly protect civilians from the criminal actions of Azerbaijan. During restoration work on the grounds of the former public school number 44 on Ritsa Street in the Matazminda neighborhood of Tbilisi, the remains of gravestone inscribed in Armenian, which were used as school stairs, were discovered. The inscriptions on some of the stones are well preserved. Public figure level Childerian, who was present at the scene, examined the remains for several days and believed that these tombstones are the stones of Hojibank Armenian Cemetery in Tbilisi, which was destroyed during the communist red terror in the 1930s and later used as a building material. The government of Western Armenia regrets such a barbaric policy of our neighboring Georgian people towards Armenian culture. Armenians have always contributed to the economic, scientific and cultural strengthening of the countries where they have lived. Georgia is no exception and Armenians have contributed greatly to the creation of that state. It is regrettable that the historical and cultural values of Javakh are treated in the same way. We hope that this policy will not turn into a chain of barbarism that the Baku authorities have inflicted on the monuments in Nakhijevan and that we will not have to resort to an international court as in the case of Nakhijevan. On May 18, by the unanimous decision of the UNESCO Executive Board, the Comitas collection was registered in the memory of the World International Register. As reports are impressed, the collection of ancient manuscripts of the Matanadaran after Mesrop Mashtot, along with the study of galaxies by astronomer Benjamin Markarian, collection of handwritten notes and film music by composer Aram Khachaturian, the fourth Armenian documentary heritage has found its rightful place. Memory of the World International Register is the list of documentary heritage which includes documents, manuscripts, audiovisual materials, library collections and archives recognized as the embodiment of exceptional value and should be certified and preserved for the humanity. Dear compatriots, Western Armenia TV is not engaged in self-promotion. The leadership of Western Armenia, remaining faithful to its idea and principles, continue to present various events related to the history, present and future of our country through television and other media platforms in a new way, to inform the government about political and public events, as well as to give an opportunity to communicate with each other closer. With the help of our television, you can establish direct connection with the government and the members of the National Assembly to raise all your concerns, which are directly connected with Western Armenia and its citizens, and also to make various interesting proposals. Besides being a TV viewer, you also have an opportunity to become a citizen of Western Armenia by following the appropriate procedure. Let us remind you that Western Armenia TV is not in a business of self-promotion, but rather seeks to expand its ties with your help. Your support is our common victory. Together we are the power. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. 